What's poppin' Jin Bob here, and coming today with Dead Man's Journeys. Uh, that's not a very reassuring name, just right off the bat. So, this is a horror game. I don't do very well with horror games, but I want to play a couple more of them on channel because they actually look a little bit fun, and it's always fun to be scared. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into Dead Man's Journey. Press 1 to begin to... I don't like it, the sound of that already. I'm gonna turn it down just a smidgen so it doesn't blow my ears out if I do get jump scared. You hear a slight beeping noise? I very faintly hear it. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it like that then, I suppose. Here we are, Dead Man's Journey. I don't like it when a game starts you off by adjusting your audio settings and tells like, hey, can you hear this little noise? Any moment now. You've committed a major sin. Do that and stand between the heavens and hell. You mean purgatory? Ahead, you will be reminded of your worst memories, thoughts, and experiences. You mean high school? Only to the final outcome will I be able to decide. Okay, so I'm already dead, but based on my actions, I will go to heaven or hell. Not looking fun already. Where am I? Whoa, whoa, whoa! When hanging in between life and death, heaven and hell, one can only do but remind himself over and over. Um. Ah! 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 Ooh! I don't like this. Where am I? H hello? Oh! Go! Go! Adjust the darkness. One being the darkest and the most recommended, nine being the brightest. All right, let's keep it nice. Oh no, I want you guys to be able to see at least what's going on on the capture. So let's go ahead and do that. Because it's a little bit darker on my capture than it is in the game. So I want you guys to be able to see the things that I'm looking at. High voltage. All right, so I probably shouldn't be back here first off. I don't know why I'm here. I stand between the gates of heaven and hell. This is, oh, I get it, Dead Man's Journey. How did I not put that together earlier? Ooh, I don't like lighting effects. Lighting effects make me spooky spooked. I don't like soft humming noises. Soft humming noises make me spooky spooked. I don't like green buttons. Green buttons make me spooky spooked. All right, well, as long as I move on to the next segment, I think there's nothing wrong with this, right? Gosh, that is that is an unnerving noise. I don't like this. Why am I here? Okay. Why am I here again? I, I just came through here. Hello? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Something's already up and I can already... Someone needs some help over there? Um. I hear someone back here. Do you need some help? Is this door open? That door's closed. Why am I trying to open doors in a spooky game? Was it these? Oh boy. Alright, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. I don't wanna. See, this is why I don't do horror games normally, because I get spooked easily. But I gotta admit. There's some anticipation here, and it makes it way easier to commentate, because when I get nervous, I just start talking rapidly. Nothing this time? Nothing? Okay. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. Wait, why is this not working? Why isn't that working? That button's red instead of green. Is there another the other button I need to press or something? Oh, boy. Weird. Nothing here looks like another button. Maybe I gotta go through that high voltage door, which I really don't want to go through. I I don't wanna, guys. I don't. Oh shit! Can I go through the next door now? It's still red. Oh, okay. whoa! What? Lights back on. Thank you. Oh, door. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing even attacked me. It was just a door and I got spooked. Oh boy, I hope I didn't clip up. I probably did. I should probably turn my microphone down. I'm gonna turn my microphone down just a little bit, you guys. I don't wanna shout your ears out. Uh I don't wanna I don't wanna blow your ears out every time I get spooked, because I'm gonna be shouty. I'm I'll fight you. I'll fucking fight you. 
I just, I just want to go home. No. No. No, no. Okay, well, the door is open. Honey, I'm home. I'm going to start leaving now because I don't like that. No okay, 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 I'm leaving, man. Chill, chill, bro. Just chill. I haven't really made any choices thus far, so I'm not really sure what the game means by, uh, depending on the choices you make. But I'm not liking that door. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Wait, is there something back there? Wait, what is this? Oh, boy. A camera! Oh, oh. Press and hold left click to activate night vision. That's not annoying at all. Anyways. All right, down we go. Down we go. Both mother and son die tragically in the hands of the father. Police arrived at a home on Thursday night after a wounded neighbor called in to report excessive screaming. Upon police forcefully entering the home, both believed to be mother and son were brutally murdered, with the father nowhere to be found. Full-on investigating have begun to take place. That's reassuring. How do I how do I get that off my screen? Do you remember those events? No. Such a scene. Such an act. Was I the father? What is this? Wait, wait, what? Two eight three Bradle Eagle Drive Southwest. Two Essex. No dog. Kill them. <gasps> was I given? Was I given a mission to kill those people? Oh shit! That's dark. Oh shit! No! Please don't do that. <laughs> well. If you don't want me in your room, I guess I don't have much of a cho choice. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Oh, that light went out. You should probably get that looked at. Do I need this camera for anything? Because I don't really think I've been using it for much. Well, at least the door is like on its hinges this time. Not exploding everywhere all the goddamn time. Because, gee, a lot of good you did me when you burst out near the kill- what? What? Why? Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go down. No. I, I just don't. You see how much. You see how much not wanting to go down there you see on my face right now? All of it. Like, all of it. Alright. Well, if you and. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if I even wanna see what's gonna come at me. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? That was so easy, I worried for nothing. That dirty little fucker got my shirt dirty, though. 7793. Things burn perfectly at 500 degrees. Well, that's a little bit morbid. And that door's closed, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through it this time. Oh god! Whoa! What the fuck is that?! Hello? Oh. Look, I'm sorry if I've offended you or if I'm trespassing, but... Um, I didn't mean to. All right, why? Well, it sounded like there's a generator powering off somewhere, so maybe I gotta turn that back on? Question mark? Um, I don't know why I'm in here. I think the generator's through here. To type number 7793, I believe. There we go. All right, please turn back on. Oh, shit! No, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't want to hear it. No, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's a way. Oh, where do I go from here? Oh, my gosh. Is this what you guys wanted to see? You guys... Oh, oh shit, sick, yeah! Oh, my God, please don't. Please don't. What are you trying to do? Like, a little interpretive dance for me? Huh? You trying to tell me something through dance? I don't know, I don't like it. I don't even like ballet for God's sake. No offense to anyone out there who does ballet. I'm sure your art is beautiful. I just don't understand it. Just as I don't understand why these people are doing this to me. I don't appreciate this. Oh, hey, I can go through here now. 
Um. Anya, 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 Anya. Wait, what? Oh God! Oh, that's not a pleasant noise. Um. Stop! 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 That's. Oh, gross. Is there another note down here? What's this one say? Father of the murdered family has been sentenced to death after cries of innocence. Upon further investigations, it is concluded that young Amy Wren has stayed at her grandparents over the night of the massacre. And John Wren remains missing since five years ago. Grandparents say he ran away from his house at six years old. So I was the actual killer. Killer. And I framed this man. Wow. That's, that's messed up. Got my new phone. Oh, this is 1995. Phone number is blah, blah, blah. My brother is born in 1977. My sister in 1993. Those years I would never forget. All right. Wow, they're kind of far apart for siblings, aren't? don't you think? That's a red light. I don't like red lights. I don't like red... Okay! Hi! I'm sorry I'm in your area. I'm trying to get out. Okay, please don't do that. Wait, what's this say? I'm so sorry. I'll die tomorrow to be with you, I promise. What? What? Why? 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 Okay. Now, this one looks really different. Wait a second. Now, I'm going from end to beginning. Um. Now I'm curious. Hello? Anybody down in this deep, dark, scary cellar place? I don't like this. I had no idea it was them. I haven't seen them for six years. How could I forget their faces so soon? The things I've done to them, how I killed them, it's impossible to live on. So I think this guy started suffering from grief from the way that he murdered this family after he was told to. So I think it was a hitman. And he was told to kill someone. He framed the husband for it. And then he felt guilt and commit suicide. You realize that was your family killed him, didn't you? Wait, what? Mother, your brother, and even your father. Luckily, your sister was spared. Whoa! In the end, you shot yourself. <laughs> How typical. Typical? I really don't think that's an average life in any. Oh, shit! Okay, maybe I shouldn't be such a smartass because I don't think this guy likes it when I back sass him. Is that what I got? Okay. Oh, is that me? God damn. I let myself go. No, don't leave me in here with my body. Do I gotta investigate something or. No. Uh, no. Hey, hey, get back down. Get back down. The okay. And here I am. Your mother, brother, and father. Dead by your own hands. I didn't mean to. And now you're here, on the edge of both heaven and hell, still trying to figure out where you belong. Maybe I don't. Maybe. You cut your mom in front of your brother, then placed them both in the oven, then watched them burn. 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 You're guess as good as mine. Right. Okay, that's an oven. That's a little morbid. Oh god, the burning noise is actually quite loud. So, this is the correct path, I think. Anything else you want to remind me of? Because, um... It's not like I... Shoot yourself by your own workplace. On the toilet. Drunk. Wow, that's depressing. Why was I in my underwear at my workplace? Because that figure was quite clearly wearing a boxers you and an see, undershirt. The thing is... You knew from the start that was a bad one. Didn't you? What? Your hunger for money. Your over excessive greed took over you, assuming, with them all dead, you would be left to will. Wake up, John. They all thought you were dead six years ago. Why in the hell did they give you a will? Poor bastard ended up shooting himself when he found this out. He took everything from them to receive nothing. Wow, that's a really shitty way to go. That's really unfortunate. I can't imagine how that must be. Which, Which do you deserve? deserve? Heaven or hell? Hmm. Well, someone who took someone else's life in order for personal greed? I'm sorry, but that's irredeemable. Hell. hell. It's not every day someone is willingly choosing their fate among hell. Well, they deserve it. 
Or I deserve it, I guess. I believe that you've done wrong. <laughs> you surprised me, John. You truly are a unique individual. Well, yeah, not everyone murders their family. Truth be told, I cast it and let you off. Indeed, you will be going to hell, no doubt. Though, not for eternity. Oh. You will spend a large portion of time constantly moving through your memories, as you had already done. Oh. Though, this time, your deeper emotions will be accessed and presented upon you. Once you have gone through what you deserve, I will then judge you once more to decide whether an eternal stay at heaven or hell will be best suited for you. So what is this, a trial With period? That said, this is the last time I will be speaking to you for quite some time. I wish you luck, John. Interesting. Interesting. Until we meet again. Ooh. That... That was kind of cool. <laughs> All right. I turned down the volume just a little bit so I can do my outro, but I really like that. There's a little bit of a story to it, and I guess it's not the best story, but it gave me context to why I was doing all the things I was doing. God, what a sad life! What a sad life! The guy was just true. Well, he let- he got some evil implications in his head, so I can't exactly say I feel sorry for him, but it's just a sort of a tragic tale all together. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys like Dead Man's Journey as much as I did. If you guys like this video, bop that like button, and I will see you next time.